Okay, so you guys have been waiting for a while to find out what my new project is, what's going on with me. As you can tell by the intro, I'm doing P90X. Kind of, right now. First thing I have to do is pass the fit test, which is designed to help people realize that they're able to even do P90X first. So I'm going to go through a series of exercises to show piece by piece, detail by detail, what I need to do in order to qualify to even do P90X. But just so you can have a better understanding of why the fit test is important, I'm going to have the P90X guy explain it to you right now. P90X is 90 days of fitness to the extreme. And while we like to think that P90X is for everyone, not everyone is ready for P90X. That's why we have you perform what we call the fit test to see if you're ready to bring it to P90X. Having visible proof of where you started is critical. Remember, once you lose this weight and reshape your body, you'll never want to go back. So take the photos now and keep them for a 30, 60, and 90 day comparison. Now look, I've been training people for over 20 years and I'm counting on you to be disciplined here. I would never expect someone to go through this extreme fitness program if they didn't pass the fit test with flying colors. Grasp your pull-up bar using wide grip, palms facing forward, away from the body, two fists wider than shoulders. From a hanging position, pull body up smoothly until chin clears the bar. Lower body back down, being sure to straighten the arms and repeat without bouncing up. Don't be discouraged if you're not able to do very many. For the vertical leap, stand sideways with shoulder against the wall and raise arm straight overhead against the wall. Record your height. Then lower the arm, take one step back, and proceed to jump straight up, trying to touch the highest point on the wall. No gathering up head of steam prior to your jump. Think jump ball. Cord height here. You should be able to jump at least 5 inches. Put something soft, about 2-3 to three inches high, pillow or cushion, to make contact with chest for each rep. Be sure to keep the body straight and hands at normal push-up width. Record number of push-ups performed to failure. Men should be able to at least do 15, 3 if you're female. If you're using your knees, be able to do 15. Touch, you will need a ruler or tape measure for this test. Sit on the floor with legs extended directly in front of you. Bend forward at waist and extend arms over legs toward toes. Don't bend your knees. See how close you can get your fingertips to toes. If you're unable to reach, measure the distance from fingertips to toes. If you're able to extend fingers beyond toes, measure how much further fingers reach beyond the toes. Do not strain or force this. You should be able to do at least 6 inches from your toes. For the wall squat, place your back flat against the wall and lower your body into the seated chair position. Quads parallel to the floor. Feet directly below knees. Think 90 degree angle here. Start the timer as soon as you get into the chair position. Breathe through the discomfort and hang in there until you can't hold yourself up any longer, until failure. Be sure not to place hands on the wall or scoot with shoulders. You can slide down slowly as you get tired, but once your butt touches the floor, your time is up. Record exact time for your wall squat. P90X minimum, you should be able to hold your wall squat for at least one minute. Hold it, hold it. You're halfway there. How do I refocus the screen? <laughs> You're at 40. Hold it up, hold it up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> For the bicep curl, extend arms straight down in front of body. Be sure the arms are fully extended between each curl. Using both arms at the same time, perform as many curls as you can until failure. Don't rock or cheat. No breaks longer than one second between reps. Men should be able to do at least 20 curls with 20 pounds minimum. Women, eight, 10 curls with 8 pounds minimum. In this example, I used 15 pound weights because that's all I had available, and I did 15 until exhaustion. For in and outs, start seated with hands on the floor at your sides. Knees bent with feet on the floor. Raise feet off the ground and bring touching the floor. Record your number. The P90X minimum should be at least 25. Jesus Christ. Ugh. <laughs> 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 
guess. <laughs> <laughs> the final test is the heart rate maximizer. Please excuse the black box. I didn't want you to see my junk flopping all over the place. Perform jumping jacks nonstop for two minutes at a quick and steady pace. During the final 30 seconds, go as fast as possible to maximize your heart rate. When you finish, be prepared to measure your heart rate over a span of four minutes. You should be able to finish the test standing and able to breathe. If you're able to complete this final test and all of the above, you're ready to do P90X. You do it. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, heart rate. Final results for my P90X pretest. Um, as you can see in the video, I wasn't able to do any pull ups at all, so my major focus is going to be on pull ups, which really I think I can train for by doing a 100 push ups program, also by bringing in a chair and doing pull ups that way, and then jumping up and holding myself up as long as possible, then lowering myself down. So there's that. Vertical leap, uh, the minimum I was only 5 inches, I did 13 inches, so I'm okay there. Uh, for push-ups, I was able to do 15, and I was literally exhausted after that point, so I think I need to increase that as well. So I'm going to be doing the 100 push-ups program to help with that. <clears throat> toe touch, uh, I was able to actually touch my toes, so I'm perfectly fine there. Uh, for the wall squats, I was only able to maintain that for 40 seconds. I need to be able to do that for at least 60. So I guess the only way to get ready for that would be to squat do lots of squats, I can do wall squats, I could use um, a balance ball on the wall, squat down with that, and just keep practicing that. Try to increase it by maybe five seconds every week, just to get better at it, and then it probably won't take long. <clears throat> the bicep curls, I'm going to need to buy some more weight for, and I'm only able to um, accommodate myself to 15 pounds, I need to go buy some more weights to make it 20. I was only able to do 16 reps, which the minimum was 10, but that was 15. I need to be able to do 10 with 20 pounds. So I wanted to go buy some weights and see how I can do with that. If I think if there were 20 pounds, I wouldn't be able to do it though. So I'm going to stick with a big failure on that one. Uh, for the in and outs, I was able to do the 25. Um, I was ready to die afterwards though. So again, more practice with that. I can easily practice with that using my ab routine at home. Just building up my endurance there in the midsection also by doing more in and outs. Squats um, would help with that. And crunches as well. Not so much squats, I don't know why I said that, but crunches would help. <laughs> it's 5 a.m., people. <laughs> and the last one, um, the heart rate maximizer, I was able to do um, my heart rate after the initial jumping jack fest was 204. After one minute, it was 162. After the second minute, it was 150. Third minute was 138. And the final minute was 126. So... I want to be able to pass this with flying colors, not just barely pass it in order for me to start P90X. Uh, the guide actually recommends that I do Power 90 to be able to prepare for P90X. Um, I'm going to look into that because I think that may be a good option for me as well while I'm doing the training on my own. So the first part of the final step for this project, weekly, I'm going to update you on my ability to do these exercises all the way through. I'm going to let you know how they all go. Um, actually, monthly, I think, sounds better. I'm going to do them all the time, but I think monthly results will be better than weekly results just because I'm not going to see much difference. Unless I make a breakthrough and I'm able to do pull-ups finally, that's the biggest one, is the pull-ups. So, I hope everybody enjoyed this tutorial on how to do preparation for Pre-90X. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Um, if, you need anybody, if you need to know anybody who has done Pre-90X and has success, um, please contact me. I can also send you links to their channels as well. Thank you all, and um, we'll see how it goes. Bye.